Thank the gentleman, Mr. Gomer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and uh, Acting Attorney General, thank you for being here today. Uh, I'm Good amazed, to see you again, Congressman. Uh, I'm amazed that you would be coming since uh, your successor is going to apparently be confirmed next week and you'll no longer be acting director. So uh, I don't know what kind of suicide wish you had or whatever, but uh, it's good to see you. Uh, one thing I wanted to hit first was um, a statement that you had made, and I want to confirm that this is, these are your words. And I quote, there is no doubt in the law enforcement community that the vast majority of the illegal drugs in this country is coming over our southern border, a pattern that is true for all crimes generally, and there is no doubt that criminals and cartels seek to exploit weaknesses in our southern border. Uh, are those your words? Well, I don't know which speech or uh, statement you're quoting. It sounds like I, something I would have said, yes. Yeah. And you wouldn't have said that if you didn't believe that. Oh, right? I believe what you're saying, the, the yeah. drugs, general illegality that's pouring into our southern border is having a negative effect on our country. Um, now, I want to get to this issue of career officials, since colleagues on the other side of the aisle have made such a big deal about it, that you have not, they accuse you of not following the advice of career officials. Uh, do you know the background of the people that are working directly under you and directly under Rod Rosenstein? Congressman, I sit on top of an organization that has 115. I'm talking about the people employees. directly to you and directly to Deputy Rosenstein. Um, I am familiar with the people that report to both of us, yes. Yeah. Do, uh, Although, I will tell you, I think Rod Rosenstein as Deputy Attorney General has over 100 direct reports as Deputy Attorney General. Yeah. Well, that was something I recommended to uh, Attorney General Sessions that he needed to reorganize and have some of those people reporting directly to him. But one of the mistakes I think my dear friend Jeff Sessions, for whom I have immense respect, one of the mistakes that I saw him making, he was listening to people who loved Sally Yates, loved her efforts to disrupt anything that President Trump tried to do. They loved what President Obama did uh, through the Justice Department. And, uh, and in fact, I had informed Jeff that, one of, that his contact at the, the, with the NSC uh, was sitting on his notices, so he either developed conflicts or wasn't properly prepared, and that was Tashina Gahar. And uh, she reported directly to Rosenstein. He, the AG should have somebody, the liaison with the NSC should report directly to the AG and not go through Rod Rosenstein, and especially when they were setting the Attorney General up to be harmed. But this, uh, and then Anthony Ferranti, I know currently, uh, apparently he's the Senior Managing Director of FTI Consulting. He was another one that some considered a career position at the DOJ. Um, let's see, uh, he had Jordan Kelly there. He's, she's currently Director of Cybersecurity Policy and Instant Response at the NSC through the White House. Uh, there were reports that she met routinely with uh, the Mueller investigators. You, you, you know, between these people um, who, like Tashina Gahar, just thought Yates was wonderful, uh, I would hope that wisdom in you as acting director, wisdom in the incoming attorney general will be to look at the backgrounds, look at the people who are political hacks and figure out, oh, they're giving me advice on this. This is not for my well-being. This is to hurt the President of the United States. And I know you may just have another week, but I would encourage you that as people make a big deal about career, look beyond career, look where their loyalties are because 
even though they may be in a career position, if their loyalties are not to the Attorney General and not to the President of the United States and are more political than they are constitutional, disregard what they say. The time of the gentleman has expired.